Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is Katiri. Service dogs are important, helpful dogs. Today we are going to show you just how helpful they can be. Hearing dogs are one of the many types of service dogs. The dogs are trained to listen for important sounds. Labradors and Golden Retrievers are examples of dogs that make excellent service dogs. Guide dogs help people who are blind or can't see very well. Guide dogs listen for directions from their owner. Mobility assistance dogs are a type of service dog that helps people in wheelchairs. They help them by getting things they cannot reach. We hope you learned something new about service dogs. Hi Explorers, I'm Kevin. I'm here with Ms. Williams to talk about camping. What type of service dog do you have? Well, Kevin, that's a really interesting question because Cammy is actually not a service dog. Cammy is a therapy dog. The difference between a service dog and a therapy dog is that a service dog actually has a job. The dog will work with a person with a type of disability and they perform an actual task. Cammy is simply here to bring smiles, to help people relax, and just spread joy. Why did you get Cammy and Echo? Um, I grew up with dogs. I've always loved dogs, always had dogs in the house. And when I entered the world of therapy dogs and performance dogs, it was just something that I felt passionate about. So I added two Briards to the bunch. If you already have one dog to help you, um, why did you get the second? They are so different. They're just like students in a classroom. Very, very different. Cammie has what I call a servant's heart. She loves to work with others. She likes to make people happy. She likes to be there to comfort people. She can tell when somebody's feeling a little bit blue. Neko is a performance dog. Neko loves to work. She loves jumping and running and being in the ring and working as a team with me. So very different dogs. Do service dogs need any special foods like different from other normal dogs? Service dogs typically are normal dogs like everybody else. So we have kind of three categories of dogs. We have service dogs, emotional support dogs, and therapy dogs. And they all should have a balanced diet just like us. They shouldn't have people food. And as long as it's pet food, they should be fine. If you need Kenny or Neko to turn on like a switch or open a door, can they? Cammy, no. So Cammy will just come sit next to me, sit on my feet, um, just bring me a smile. Neko, yes. Neko actually can open the refrigerator. She can take things out. She opens the door that the pet food is kept in. Uh, we try to keep her away from that door. She has a buzzer by the door that leads to the fenced in yard. And when she wants to go outside, she knows how to push that buzzer to go outside. So Neko, yes. Cammy, no. Okay. How much money is it for a therapy dog? Therapy dogs are different. Service dogs, um, you know, it's really important that a service dog do an actual job because there's a lot of training involved in that. And there's estimates of thousands of dollars to prepare a dog to be a service dog. Therapy dog, in order to qualify for a therapy dog, Cami is through Alliance um, Therapy Dogs and she had to take a test just like the students take tests. She took a 13 part test and passed. Other than that, there's no expense involved. Thank you, Ms. Williams, for letting us interview you. Well, thank you, Kevin, for giving me an opportunity to discuss the difference between service dogs and therapy dogs. This is Kevin Hess, and I am here today with Sunny from ASA Service Dogs. Um, these dogs are so cool. What is the most common type of service dog? So there are a lot of different service dogs based on our different needs from, from the owner or the person who needs the dog. But at ASA Service Dogs, the dog that we train the most is an autism service dog meant for kids who have autism or are on some part of the autism scale. How are service dogs different from normal pet dogs? So service dogs have a lot more training than normal pet dogs. Normal dogs just stay at your house and they love you and you take them out and you take care of them. And of course you love these guys and you take care of them, but they have a lot more training than your household pet. They have the ability of getting up and going with you out into public when you need them to be with you. How long does it typically take to train a service dog? It really depends on what dog you have and what dog or what you need the dog for. So I recently tra trained a chocolate lab. Um, it took me about a year and a half for him to be fully trained, and right now he found his forever home, and he is 
a dog to help a man with PTSD. Where do you find the service dogs that you train? So in this program, we are provided the dogs. I'm just a volunteer and I don't pay for anything that the dog needs. That is the woman, Amanda, who runs the program. She is either given the dog or she buys the dog specifically on a breeder that she likes. But we recently bred a black lab and he had three litters. And we, the only reason why we bred him is because he had really great genetics and he was a really smart dog. How much money is a service dog? So it, the amount of money that you pay for a service dog is based on what you have, what you want your service dog to do. But we train emotional support and therapy and those tend to be less money because it's basic service dog training. There's a little poodle here named Ralphie and he's an emotional support dog. I trained him about two years ago and he, I think he costed somewhere between twenty-five and fifty thousand dollars based on training, but also the woman who owns him now, she picked him out from a previous litter in Kentucky and shipped him down here for us to train as her service dog. But that's basically the base price on our website. Do people buy the service dogs after they are trained? Sometimes, if you're looking for a service dog and we have one already trained in the program, you can buy them right away. But if you're like the woman who I was talking about previously, you can pick out your service dog and put them into the program, but you oh. have to buy your dog if you want to put them in the program. Oh. So you can do both. Thank you. You're very welcome. For people with various disabilities or who may be suffering from trauma, specially trained dogs can help them with tasks that would be impossible without the help of their best friend. Dogs like guide dogs, mobility assistance dogs, hearing dogs, therapy dogs, and emotional support dogs are valuable working dogs. Remember, you should not pet these working dogs unless their owner first gives you permission. Clearly, dogs really are a man's best friend.